people of St. Martin, good evening. I come to you as Prime Minister and Chair of the EOC in today's update for March 30th, 2020. Today, it gives me pleasure to come to you to be able to enlighten you as to the latest regulation which has been put into force today, March 30th, 2020, which brings a little bit of structure to St. Martin's government's social distancing policy to prevent the further spread of the coronavirus. This temporary regulation is a public order with measures related to COVID-19. Many persons have been questioning the, the steps taken in being able to do such. In our discussions with our French counterparts, it has been brought to our attention that we needed to be more coordinated in our effort to control movement in our particular parts, but as well as cross-border. Our police departments have been collaborating since Friday in doing controls at the borders to ensure that persons with their documentation could be able to traverse safely. As we did not have such in on our side, it was decided that we would, in an effort to have a synchronized uh, coordination, that we would ensure that our population also had professional travel proof, which is called Form A, a personal travel waiver, which is Form B, and last but not least, a Form C, which is a certificate of exception of being able to traverse the road from Dutch to Friendside and vice versa. Persons who, at this moment, are allowed to work in essential services should carry, as of today, a professional travel proof. This is available on our government website page, www.stmartingov.org slash coronavirus. You are allowed to fill this in, and we have not done it that you have to do it daily for work, but on a weekly basis maximum. So if you're not working for the entire week, of course, then you stipulate the days of the week which you are working. So this job proof, this travel document authorizes you through your employer signature, you fill in the name of your employer and his or her title, your name, your first name, the date of birth, your home address, what is the work you do, the location of your work, and the route which you travel from home to work, and what form of travel you're using, whether bus or car, to get to your job. At the bottom, here you will place the week or the days that you will work, the starting date, and your employer's signature and stamp, if they have one, will be on this side. This you should carry with you um, whenever you are traveling to and from work during the week in order not to, because we are trying to limit the persons who are traversing the road. For every other movement within our borders, you are asked to carry this form. Form B is the personal travel waiver. The personal travel waiver says that in accordance with Article 4 of the Ministerial Regulation issued on the 30th of March, relating to the movements in the context of the fight against the spread of COVID-19 virus, I, the undersigned, Mr. or Mrs., you place your name, the date you were born, and your physical address, and you are declaring by this document that you are either making a trip to make essential purchases for health reasons, either for essential family reasons to assist the vulnerable people or for childcare, or you're making a short trip close to your home for individual physical activities such as exercise, walking, and excluding collective sports because, you know, gatherings are not allowed and to be able to walk your domestic animals. You will then give your location that you are going to and your signature date and time. This personal travel waiver, if for instance you are going to work and you live in the Dutch Quarter area, you work in the Phillipsburg area, your travel document will say such. And when work ends, if you end at three, four or five, and you are on your way home, and you stop at the supermarket on your way home, you do not need to have the personal waiver because you are still on your way to and from work. 
However, if you are deviating from your home to work route, you should fill out a personal travel waiver, whether you're going to your doctor, pharmacist, or any other essential service. This document, yes, you have to um, change daily. It's specific per day. The certificate of exception, this form, is in French and English, as it has to be read by both authorities. This authorizes you, as a Dutch citizen, to go to the French side to be able to work or vice versa. It says that you are traveling between your home and place of work when working remotely, um, where working remotely is not possible, or you are traveling for urgent medical reasons with the supporting documents, meaning an appointment with your doctor or a prescription that needs to be filled. I am hoping through this um, short elucidation that the general public of St. Martin understands what the three forms as has been published on our website means. Uh, we have also asked all of our stakeholders that are allowed to be open to provide copies as well at their location. And here at the government administration building, we have also set up the opportunity for persons who are unable to print the document to pick up blank copies in front of the government building. I hope this clarifies that we are trying our best to restrict movement and as that is one of the best ways in which we can mitigate the spread of the COVID-19 virus. I know in saying that and seeing the business regulation that came out today, persons were quite confused. And for this, we apologize. Uh, the decisions taken um, in this regard, of course, hoping to have met the needs of the people of St. Martin, um, we respect that not all these decisions sometimes come across in the way they were intended. And therefore, this regulation has been retracted and adjusted to reflect um, in more in keeping with the regulations for uh, closure of businesses as well as restriction of movement. I'd also like to take this time to clarify what has happened today with the posting of the regulation for the opening and closing of businesses as per the Minister of Tiat. It had been determined that we would allow a couple of other businesses to be open. However, after perusal of these businesses, as well as understanding that we're trying to restrict movement, uh, it was determined that we would retract that regulation and republish a new one tomorrow, March 31st, which will go into effect as of Wednesday, April 1st. As such, uh, some changes will be noted in that um, food suppliers and wholesale and retail will continue. So supermarkets, etc., wholesale and retail. However, restaurants um, will not be allowed to sell alcoholic beverages. So those going for takeout and delivery will not have the opportunity to stand around and socialize for any other reason than to pick up their food and leave. And bakeries also, no alcoholic beverage will be sold. Um, being removed from this list of food suppliers are vendors, so no one with vending license will be allowed to open as of April 1st, 2020. Also noteworthy to mention um, would be that the telecommunication and utilities companies, while they will be only open for technical services and back office, they will not be opened to the general public. Essential government services will only take place upon appointment and insurance companies also only by appointment. I believe for the rest, the other main issues or the main businesses would remain open and no other businesses that had been closed will be open as of the regulation that was um, presented today. So this regulation will be printed tomorrow and published for all to see I just wanted to reiterate that no barbershops and salons will be allowed to be open and none of the other new businesses that had been mentioned in today's regulation. I apologize for any confusion that this may have caused and reiterate that um, those services were only going to be included to be able to facilitate persons who may need them. However, seeing that we are seeing an increase in cases we believe that mitigating the further movement of peoples is more important at the moment than providing services related to such. 
As such, I'd like to take the opportunity to update on our cases. Um, at this moment, we have not received any update of any new positive cases. We are still pending some results. Our quarantined um, uh, persons are 336, isolated 129. We have tested 52 persons, of which I mentioned six positive, 27 negative, and 19 pending. One of the six persons is still hospitalized, one returned home, but over the past 24 hours, we now have four persons who are pending testing that they may be also COVID positive. So in this, we are realizing that there is still too much movement on the island, and that is also one of the reasons why we decided to retract the declaration which issued that more businesses would still be allowed to be open. As a result of all the above, I would like to reiterate to the people of St. Martin that these regulations are being put in place in order to provide safety for you and your family. Schools have been closed, businesses have been closed, and many services that others may consider essential have also been closed. We all have to do without for a good while because of the way that this virus behaves. Social distancing and proper hygiene are the only ways other than staying in your home that you can avoid being able to contract this disease. In your interactions in public places, I advise you to go to that place, do your particular business and leave as soon as possible. The shorter your exposure, the less chances you have of contracting the virus utilizing good personal hygiene and hygiene at those locations will keep you and your family safe. I do not advise you taking young children out on these errands and trips. Please avoid that as much as possible. And if moving around the country, even during the curfew for emergencies, please ensure that you have a document stipulating what the reason is for you to be on the roads. We are avoiding people unnecessarily moving. That is what these measures is about. The paper is just the explanation as to why you are still on the road. This should be only for work purposes and only for personal reasons, for essential, and if you have to work or go for health reasons on the friend side. I urge the people of St. Martin to take the COVID-19 uh, virus very, very seriously. We are working hard. We are working overtime, and so should you to ensure your own safety by following the rules as the compliant people of St. Martin that you are. Resilient, strong St. Martin people, we continue to pray for the best, but prepare for the worst. So be safe, stay at home as much as possible, and I will continue to update you daily as these developments continue. Stay safe, St. Martin.